And yes, in his first Raw match in, I believe, six years, Cody Rhodes is facing The Miz. Okay? So yesterday, uh, maybe it was whatever day I watched SmackDown, I heard that uh, Cody Rhodes was facing The Miz, and I thought, all right, that's fine. It's an easy match, you know, we'll beat the guy or whatever. So then I foolishly, I went, on, I went on Twitter, and every now and then, you know, they have trending on the side, which is like, you know, whatever's trending that they think you would be interested in. And uh, one of them was uh, The Miz. I thought, why is The Miz trending? I always get worried when people are trending because I'm like, I hope something bad didn't happen. So uh, I foolishly clicked on uh, The Miz's name because it was trending. Oh, my God. What? So apparently, apparently when this match was announced, uh, the Internet went crazy. I was unaware of this till I clicked on this, this uh, name. <laughs> so first, there were like a bunch of people that were angry like angry that Cody was going to face the Miz, okay? Angry. I don't know why you would be angry, like who cares, but they were actually angry about it. Like Cody's just come back in his first match. Uh Brian Danielson debuted his first match with Kenny Omega. Cody's debuting his matches with the Miz. And so then, you know, all the people that were angry, you know, were going off about how much the Miz sucked, okay? Which yeah, that's right. I understand that. But then we had all of the the pro Miz people that had to come to the defense of the Miz. Oh my God. He's a legend, you know, Brian. Bro, I'm praying that Tony Khan is right and that most of these people are bots, okay? Because there's like the stuff that people were writing, like, oh, how can you say that the Miz sucks? He's a uh, he's a grand slam. They were literally doing what he does in his promos, which is I'm going to rattle off a list of all of the belts that Miz has won to prove that he is, in fact, great and that you cannot say anything bad about the Miz. It's one thing to say, you know, whatever, but to say that Miz is not good in the ring. Oh, you must be a troll. Look at all these belts. He's, I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. You can't, you can't be a real person. So anyway, you know, but then I got thinking about it today. I'm not mad about it, but I was thinking about it. And I thought, what is the end goal of Cody and the Miz? Like, is he just going to go in there and beat him in two minutes with the crossroads? Because I can't imagine they're going to go in and go like 19 minutes back and forth. Because that's certainly, absolutely not what I would do with Cody a week after he debuted. Is go and toe to toe with the Miz for 19 minutes? I was like, so is he just going to beat him? I mean, I don't know. He's the more I thought about it, the more I was like, what's the end game here? Now, shouldn't he go in with somebody like his first match was with Seth, which was oh. a great match. You know, don't you want to have yeah. him come in and have, like, some great matches with some guy or something well, like that? No, we got, we got to entertain a little bit here. We're going to have a 12-minute promo back and forth between the two, bantering back and forth, which may be incredibly entertaining. Who knows? Then we're probably going to have a match. But if you believe that Backlash is Logan Paul in The Miz, then, you know, this maybe it's just a quick win for Cody and something to do for this week. You know, but if it's going to be a match for Backlash, I mean, maybe this is where it starts up. So I have a feeling this is not going to lead, though, to what I really want, which, of course, is Brandy and Maurice. Back in a moment with more Observer Live. Look at the Twitch chat here. People can't seem to believe. Pro Miz people. He made a event at WrestleMania. He doesn't suck. Dual Grand Slam champ. Why do people actually do that for the? I mean, look, the Miz is somebody that you would probably want your child, depending on what you thought about wrestling, to grow up and be. He's been injured once in the entirety of his career. Uh, he came from a a background of being on MTV, not anything else mtv and that jump started his shot to get to wwe he married maurice he's got a great family he's parlayed this into a career outside of wwe you don't have to quadruple down on ms luthez type of in-ring wizard you can just throw all that to the side and say if you're entertained by the ms and like the ms and think he'll match up well with cody okay you don't have to take it that far
No, Dagan, you understand. He's a people trying to get a rise out of me. <laughs> no, this had nothing to do with me. L literally nothing. I, I didn't write or say anything. I went on the internet and it said <laughs> Miz was trending. So I clicked on his name and everybody was just going nuts. I had nothing to do with any of this. If you don't listen, you can all go up there yourself. And, and if you want to click on Miz's name and I got and just CM see what Punk and Tony today, Dungy right now. What is, what is going go on here it. with Punk and yeah, Tony what's going Dungy. on with CM Punk? Let's see. CM Punk, top. If CM Punk defeats Hangman Page for the title, Eddie Kingston should dethrone him. It's just, it seems to be just a bunch of people talking about CM Punk. Nice. Favorite see. quote from The Simpsons. Can you do an impression? Sure. Okay. So uh, Bart was doing some road cleanup and he said, Hey, Krusty, what are you doing here? And Krusty says, uh, it's all part of my glug, glug, vroom, vroom, thunk, thunk. That was a very good impression, Craig. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it's all part of my glug, glug, vroom, vroom, thunk, thunk. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.